Hi everybody, this is my comparison of the Canon 5D Mark II with the Sony PMW EX1. Um, the EX1 is on the left, the Canon's on the right. These are mounted on two tripods and I'm trying to operate them both at the same time. The Sony's in fully automatic mode and the Canon is in completely manual mode so I have to adjust the aperture and the, uh, the um, focus uh, from time to time. Also, these images are completely uncolor corrected and unpost processed, so this is pretty much raw, untouched footage. And I just wanted to get it up here so you could get a look at it. Now, here's the first image where you see a really big difference. Look at the water on the left; it's definitely half the detail of the uh, the water on the right, and also the um, the blue roof that comes into the on the right here is definitely brighter than the one on the left. And I think the uh, the aperture settings are similar, so it looks like we've got a little bit more color dynamic range on the on the Canon. In this shot, the the windows on the right are a little bit clearer than the windows on the left, but there's not that much difference. However, when it pans down, look at the railings. The railings on the right and on the left are about the same level of magnification. I mean, it's difficult. I'm eyeballing this, but I got about the same. But look, you can see every bar on the fence on the right, and you, they're kind of smudgy on the left. So that's, that's a huge difference. And also, there, there's definitely a larger contrast ratio on the, on the Canon than, than the Sony, at least at my current settings. And again, the Sony is in fully automatic mode, whereas the Canon is fully manual. And I'm still learning how to play with and get the best uh, image out of the Canon. So I'm sure an experienced DOP could do a better shot than I've got here. But this is representative of what you can do after playing with a camera for a little while. And again, on the left, it's completely automatic, out-of-the-box stuff from the uh, Sony. Now look again, see the water here? You can see water, you can see detail almost all the way to the uh, the island there. Whereas on the left, we we definitely see less. Now I've got more aperture here and I'm going to be stopping it down in a second to try and match the sky and you'll see that we still have good detail in the water. See the water on the right looks markedly better than the water on the left and we've got very similar skies so I think the cannon looks quite nice in this shot here. This is uh, English Bay in Vancouver at sunset. We had some pretty awesome sunsets this year. The, uh, the Sony can go from about 24 millimeter to 330, and I don't have a lens, a single lens on the Canon that can do that. I have a bunch of lenses, and I can get that same range, but I have to do actual lens changeouts to do that. And my favorite, the beer shot. For some reason, I think beer really looks nice on camera. And it uh, gives you a good idea of what's possible. Look at the depth of field. On the left, the street is pretty in focus. On the right, we've got the street out of focus. Now, in this one, I actually like the, the image of the Sony better on the left. So I, I spent some time playing around with the image on the right and the Canon to try and get similar. I think one of the problems is I didn't have the focus set quite right. But see, the depth of field is way different. I mean, the, the Sony, look at the, the, the white light in the background there. The, in the Canon, the, uh, those two light white lights are two or three times the size. So we've got a definitely huge difference in depth of field. The Canon being a full 35 millimeter um, uh, chip, whereas the, uh, the Sony is only, I think it's a half inch chip. But yeah, I still like the color on the left. So I, I spent a little bit of time trying to get the same kind of shot here. I put the Canon right over top of the Sony. But I, 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 it looks like the color temperature is a bit off. You know, the wood on the left is brown, the wood on the right is gold. And again, I'm not an expert DOP, so it'd be great to see what, uh, you know, an experienced DOP could do with this camera. But 
right out of the box with just a noob like me behind the behind the controls I think this thing captures really nice images and it definitely holds up against the EX1 the EX1 doesn't have interchangeable lenses so you definitely get some uh, more freedom of action plus this camera is about half the price of the EX1 that's a very important thing to, to keep in mind and the chips that the Canon uses are compact flash which you can buy um, it works fine with a hundred times compact flash which is what I'm shooting on here and that only cost forty four dollars for eight gigs the Sony uses an eight or X or S by S or X yeah S by S chips an eight gig ones like almost eight hundred dollars so that's crazy so you could stock up you know you could have 20 chips 28 gig chips or 28 gig compact flash chips for the price of one s by s chip so that's a lot of field shooting before you have to unload them and that makes a huge difference when you're you know on a shoot anyway that's my uh that's my comparison i hope you liked it and uh please leave comments and let me know what you think take care